Hey, what's up everyone? In this Lightroom tutorial, we are going to edit this shot of this massive lightning strike and we are going to end up with something like this. So we are going to enhance the colors, adjust the exposure a little bit and overall clean up this shot. If you want to follow along, feel free to download the raw file in the description of the video. And now let's begin. As always, I am starting in the basic panel. First off, I'd like to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Landscape, which will give the whole image a little more saturation that is especially visible in the clouds. Next up, we can enhance the color some more by playing around with the white balance. Now for me personally, it's super hard to set the white balance correctly for images like this because there are just so many possibilities. For example, you could bring down the temperature giving the whole shot a very cold look, which is fitting as you can see. In the end, I decided to go with a warmer look, so I'm going to bring up the temperature and thus I'm just adding some more colors to this shot. So at this point, that's a bit too much temperature. I don't want to overdo it. I think that's a good point right there. So we have some orange tones in the brighter highlights, while in most of the image and most of the sky actually is covered in a blue tone. So with the white balance out of the way, we can look at the exposure. Checking the histogram, you can see there's a bit of an exposure going on, which is not a big deal, I think, because those shadows in the image aren't that important. Also, of course, there will be overexposure because that's a super bright lightning strike. In this case, we can try bringing down the highlights just a little bit so we get some more details around the brightest parts of that lightning strike. And at the same time, I can try increasing the shadows a little bit just to have some more detail in those dark areas. But again, those aren't the important part of the shot, so I don't care much about them. That should be good enough. Finally, we could play around with the whites a little bit, just raising them slightly to get some more overall brightness. But I think that's looking pretty good so far. We still have a lot of contrast and the clouds in the sky look perfect for me at this point. So next up, I do want to introduce some texture which will work especially good on the lightning strike itself. So let's turn it up a notch. Again, I'm not going too crazy here because the texture slider is super dangerous if you overdo it. I'm not going to use clarity and I don't think I need to dehaze, but I do want to add a lot of vibrance, bringing out all the colors in the sky a little more. So let's turn it up quite a bit here. And you can see this looks much better with those purple tones in the sky. All right, so that's it for the base adjustments. We can compare to before real quick. You can see and the colors are a bit different now, much more intense and the exposure hasn't changed too much at this point, but I'm very, very happy with this so far. So next up, I do want to add a little bit of masking. Actually, I just want to use a linear gradient over the top part of the clouds because I want to make them a little more dramatic by just increasing the clarity. Just a little bit like this. All right, perfect. And now we can already start with the color grading. So I'm skipping the HSL stuff. I'm going straight to the split toning. And let's start with the highlights. So for the highlights, I do want to have a warm color tone. So let's try something like this and bring up the saturation. I'm going to raise it quite a bit. Again, I'm struggling really, really badly with color grading images like this because there are just so many possibilities. So if you want to apply, for example, a cold color tone for the highlights, that's totally fine. So I do want to continue with the midtones. Again, I'm using a very warm color tone, somewhere in the red range, because it just fits the midtones of the image. Let's maybe even go into the purple direction here. And now I'm only going to very slightly push the saturation. That should be enough already. And let's do the same with the gold color tones, very low saturation, but this time I'm going with a blue color tone. I guess that's a good spot. And again, low saturation here. Perfect. 
So let me just deactivate the split toning for a second so you can see the difference. In this case, it's quite subtle except for the highlights, which now have a very, very saturated warm color tone. I think this looks great. Again, you can try different colors. I think a blue color tone could work pretty good for the highlights as well. So next up, the last bit of color grading is happening in the calibration tab. So in here, let's go down all the way to the blue primary stuff. Here I'm just dropping the hue. And I'm also going to raise the saturation and I will raise it a lot. Just to bring out all those color tones of the image. Perfect. And that is it for the color grading. Now we do want to sharpen this image in the details tab. Again, I am using the same settings pretty much all the time. First I'm dropping the radius, then I'm increasing the details, then I'm adding some masking. And here I'm making sure the lightning strike is affected by the masking. Just like that maybe. And now let's pump up the amount. And now we're getting a crisp, clear lightning strike. And that is the image after the raw adjustments in Lightroom. Pretty solid already. There's just one thing I want to fix. And sadly I can't do that in Lightroom because I do want to get rid of that beachfront right in the foreground, which I have to do in Photoshop. So I am going to right click the thumbnail, go to edit in and choose Photoshop. Okie dokie, first I'm going to duplicate that layer by hitting Ctrl J, just so I have a backup and I can show you the before and after. Next I'm using the polygonal lasso tool and just create a very rough selection around all those rocks in the foreground. Just like that. Once the selection is done, I'm going to hit Shift F5 under contents. I'm choosing content aware and just hit OK. As you can see, Photoshop is doing a good job at filling this gap. So I do want to go in a little more deeper and just use the spot healing brush to get rid of any leftover rocks. Okay, now there's a light in the distance, which I also really don't like. So let's just get rid of them as well. There's another bright spot, which is a bit distracting. Okay. So there's one more thing that's really bothering me and that's those trees on the right side. So I do want to try and get rid of them as well. Let's see how we can do that. I think I'm going to use the clone stamp tool for that. So just copying an area close to it and trying to remove the tree. That works pretty good actually. So I'm not sure if I can remove that big tree. This might be a little trickier. So let's just try copying the tree next to it and replacing this top part. All right, I think that looks much better. So let me turn off this layer so you can see the difference. So with the after version, it just looks much, much cleaner and we can focus a lot more on the lightning strike. I guess that is the finished image. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, as always, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.